I do remember the night my father died and I remember the, the driver of a neighbor who was driving us to the hospital. He mumbled something about dead people don't tip so well and walked away into the dark. And I was only 14 then and uh, I put my father's dead body in the back seat of the car. And my mother besides me, I started driving back from the hospital to the house. And in the middle of a quiet crying, my mother looked at me and she said, Son, when did you learn to drive? And I thought about it and realized, and I said to my mom, just now, mom. Madness of the particularly nice or romantic kind is an absolute prerequisite to a happy and successful life. Don't ever treat your little insanities as if they're aberrations that ought to be hidden from the rest of the world. Acknowledge them and use them to define your own way of living, the only life you have. All the most beautiful people in the world, the most creative, the ones who led revolutions, who discovered and invented things, did so because they embraced their own idiosyncrasies. I mainly that, I think, you know, to be able to survive your mistakes. And mistakes were normally things which are very close to your heart. They went wrong somewhere down the line. The only thing that keeps you going is the fact that you're still surviving. Actually, the only thing the women are looking for is please don't define us. We don't want to be defined by society. Let us just be who we are. So do not, you know, there's, there's a thing I was discussing with a friend of mine on the phone that we even desexualize powerful women. You know, it is the most shocking thing to me. You know, sometimes uh, they're powerful women, you know, we somehow desexualize them. Like, you know, she's so much like a guy, but she's such a man. The way she, because, because men are scared. You think uh, they are, sir? Well, they, most, most certainly I'm scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared of women loving me too much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to be uh, such a successful star uh, around the world, there are a lot, of, lot more expectations from you. And you need to keep it very simple then. You don't need to be uh, trying to work for those expectations or keep on doing the stuff that people expect of you. You keep on doing what started you off.